welcome back to Lemons and Larkspur. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Patty and I garden here in zone 9B, Southern California desert area. This is my third year in this garden and I thought this would be a good baseline video for this coming 2024 garden season. The backyard is getting ready to undergo a pretty good transformation. Most of it is a most of it is cosmetic. I've been working on the perennials for a couple of years now, finding out what works and what doesn't work. I'm coming from zone 10 to zone nine, so it's a little bit of a learning curve, but I think I'm dialing it in. Our lot is about 9,500 square feet, which sounds like a decent sized lot, um, but a lot of it is sloping um, to this view right behind me. So our backyard is an average size. It's not huge, it's not small. I have tried my best to grow vegetables and flowers. This year I've decided to focus mainly on flower gardening. I have not had the most luck with um, planting edibles, number one. I don't have that much in-ground area and the above-ground area that I have is used mostly for flower gardening. I do have a side yard that I will continue to plant vegetables in, but I have been dealing with uh, rodents, squirrels, rats, all kinds of things because as you can see, I live right next to, directly across from a golf course, and then the foothills just beyond that. So coyotes, squirrels, owls, possums, anything that you can imagine we have in these foothills and then buy that into our backyard. So I am going to stick flowers everywhere. So if you love flower gardening, you're in the right place. I cannot wait for you to join me um, today. I am sitting here in a quick break of a week long deluge of heavy rain. If you um, are seeing this in time, um, you know Southern California has undergone a major, major uh, systemic river. I don't know what it's called. You will know that California has been under torrential rainfall for the last week. We have a week break and then into another week of rain. I had really hoped to bring you a totally different video um, because I thought I'd be in the garden, but I have not been. I planted a few seeds um, and I will show you that. I'm going to give you a today view of the perennial bed, which is the bed that surrounds um, our backyard, and show you a sneak peek of something that my husband is working on. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to gardening. So here is that tour of the perennial bed that I promised you. As you can see, everything is so soggy, but I wanted to give you a baseline as it comes to life and as I add things here in the hopefully uh, days and weeks to come. Like I said, we're expecting another bout of rain after a week of dry out. So we're just gonna get to what we can get to um, and count on the warmer days ahead. Today's video is not about telling you exactly what perennials are in and what's coming back. It's just to give you kind of an overview of what the perennial bed looks like here in the first week of February. Like I said, this is my third gardening season in this backyard. And what we are working on, we have boxwoods in to give us some closure and some structure. I love my neighbors behind us, but I'm sure they don't uh, appreciate me out in the backyard and talking to my dogs and uh, yelling at my dogs when they start barking. You know all of the stuff that neighbors do. I think they would appreciate a little bit of a cover and so would I, but we have a gorgeous view, so I'm very mindful not to let anything get too tall.
I also have some grapevines planted along this wall and a blackberry bush, two blackberry bushes that I'm hoping will also screen um, kind of the openness of the backyard. much to see um, right now but trust me it is so beautiful um, when the Sun comes out and things start coming back to life did sneak out between rainstorms and get some replacement cabbage planted. I had a horrible bout of um, the white moth eggs and aphids and all kinds of stuff on the first round that I planted. So I went to my local nursery and I picked up a six pack, which actually turned into a nine pack um, because there were a couple um, double cells. So I'm gonna get those planted here on the side yard. on the soil in these raised beds. These are my vegetable beds. Today I'm going to add the cabbage and then I have some cool season annual flower seeds that I'm also going to put in here because like I said this year is going to be all about the flowers.
here's that sneak peek I was teasing you with. We have decided that a little bit of color is going to make this backyard into somewhere we always want to be. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to give you a little glimpse of our soggy backyard as it exists so that you can see the transformation. I will give you a little hint. We are going for a bit of a hacienda look back here. We inherited some wrought iron furniture. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be beautiful. I hope you'll stick around. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.